we have a very exciting Black History Month uh, celebration that's coming up. You're going to really see the depth of the, the people who work here, who support us, who all chose this way of life. Being in social services is not the job you get into if you want to be a millionaire. You do it because you care. With, with what's about to roll out for uh, Black History Month, I'm excited. Um, it is more about recognizing and, and having people's voices heard. Can you hear about just, you know, good old fashioned ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things and making a huge impact in people's lives. This was a year for me that I had to do some things differently. And that was kind of like a catalyst for me. I don't know what everyone's catalyst is going to be, but there needs to be a catalyst for everyone to, to change something, change something for the better. African-American people have we seen killed before George Floyd? We saw it. We didn't, we didn't rally them. We, we, it was that one. It was like, that's enough. I have to give uh, mad kudos to Wendy Carpenter, our CEO. She really opened her eyes and saw okay, this can't just exist outside of Penny Lane. Maybe some of this is existing here, and what can we do about it? So she started uh, the Racial Justice Committee, and it is comprised of staff, admin, and board members. It's one of the most cathartic experiences I've ever had because you don't know that you're hurt until you know. I, I didn't know that racism affected me the way that it has been affecting me. And I'll be talking da, 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 and I'll have a moment and I'm just breaking down into tears. And I'm just like, man, that's some deep rooted pain. Because it's something you've been dealing with your entire life that you're absolutely not in control of. I think we as parents can teach our children is that you do need to look out for your neighbor. You do need to look out for those who are less fortunate than you. You do need to help when you see people who need it. We came in, we made Christmas extremely bright for uh, some of your clients. I think the first group was maybe around 200, 250 people, individuals, children, spouses, husbands, every, you know, wives, teens, emancipated youth, a little bit of everybody. And, you know, once you start that, how do you stop? The work that we do here is so valuable. We are literally saving and changing lives. Um, we're, we're healing and helping the healing process um, for a lot of broken people. Most of the clients that have come through these stores have experienced things that I have never experienced, that you have never experienced, and they should have never experienced it. And they need, they, they need the help, they need healing. And this is what this place is all about. There, there is no better place that I can think of where so much of an impact can be made.